Welcome friends, my name is Dev Empath and today we'll be investigating the difference adding a fan behind the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme makes. Now we'll be testing this using a dock so the ROG Ally stands up and we can position the fans easier. We'll be testing using two different fans, a normal PC case fan right against the ROG Ally and a USB fan further away. We'll be testing with a 3D Mark Benchmark Steel Nomad Lite in a loop. I'll also have MSI Afterburner metrics in the top left of the screen to monitor temp and other metrics. Firstly, all fan configurations will hit 98 degrees for a second or two when the ROG Ally boosts to 45 watts, even sometimes when running as low as 36 watts. When running over 30 watts boost, all configurations will hit 90 plus degrees depending on the scene. But once running at a consistent 30 watts, there is a noticeable difference between running with and without a fan. I'll be going through each fan setup, use the chapters if you're only interested in a specific fan, or check the conclusion at the end. Let's get started with no fan as a baseline. Once down to 30 watts, there are highs of 91 and 92, lows of 87 and 88. Regardless of the numbers, I notice the device runs much hotter without a fan, especially over time in a long gaming session. Next up, let's see what an 80mm PC case fan does. Once down to 30 watts, there are highs of 88 and lows of 84 and 85. The device runs cooler with a fan, especially during long sessions. The whole device feels cooler to the touch. I'm using a USB to 12 volt cable for this, but any power supply of 12 volt should work. Lastly, let's check the USB fan. Once down to 30 watts, there are highs of 87 and lows of 83 and 84. The USB fan surprisingly worked better than the case fan. I think this is because the USB fan moves a ton more air than the case fan. However, it does make a little bit more noise and is a little harder to place depending on your setup. Let's compare the results. There is a negligible increase in 3D Mark scores with using the fans, as in less than 1%. This is within the margin of error and not statistically meaningful. In all configurations, the ROG Ally will clock down to 30 watts at the same time. This is due to the way that the processor boosts for a certain amount of time. Although the results don't show that much difference in temperature, the difference is noticeable when touching the device or screen. Without a fan, it seems to heat up the whole body more. During long gaming sessions, the device runs considerably cooler and cools down during loading or other lower demand scenes much faster than without a fan. If you're running a ROG Ally in a dock, especially a Z1 Extreme, I'd recommend adding a fan, literally any fan. It's definitely worth it for those long sessions. Thanks so much for joining me on this investigation. I hope you learned something and have a great day.